Hey guys, it's uh, Tuesday and it's the day after Valentine's Day and you're watching the Daily Movie Critics. My name is Simon. You can catch me on the channel, SimonWizzle91, as usual. Um, I'll be posting on there a bit more lately, sort of soonish. Anyway, uh, yesterday, uh, me and my girlfriend, I took, uh, she took me out for a meal and I took her out to the movies. It's like a sort of present thing. And uh, as, as you can tell, I like heavy metal. I'm a heavy metal kind of dude, uh, I'm in several metal bands, and I found out that uh, Ozzy Osbourne, you all know who Ozzy is, Ozzy Osbourne was going to do the voice of a reindeer in uh, the movie Gnomeo and Juliet, and I was like, god damn, I gotta see that shit. So me and my girlfriend go see Gnomeo and Juliet on Valentine's Day, which, you know, is appropriate, and I thought, this film's going to suck. This is going to be you know, one of those animated movies that sucks, but has a really good cast, and it does have a good cast. It's got James McAvoy and Emily Blunt, Ozzy Osbourne, Jason Statham, Patrick Stewart, Hulk Hogan plays a fucking lawnmower, and it, uh, it's got lots of really good British comedians in it. Also, it's a good. It's got a good cast, and the movie itself was actually fairly good as well. Uh, it was just the story of Romeo and Juliet played by gnomes and garden decorations for garden. This film is very English, by the way. So yeah, played by like garden gnomes, and there's a red garden and there's a blue garden, aka the Capulets and the Montagues, blah 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 blah. And um, yeah, but it's got a bit, they change the ending a bit, but they do it in a really tasteful way, as in Nomeo actually talks to the statue <laughs> of um, William Shakespeare, which is played by Captain McCard himself, Patrick Stewart, which I fucking loved, because I fucking love Star Wars. Star Wars, Star fucking Trek. I do apologise. The music in this movie was all Elton, Elton John covers and Elton John songs, which added to the Britishness and the loveliness of it all. I'm not huge on Elton John, but I do appreciate him where it counts, and it was a good. It was good. This film was in 3D, and the 3D was very, very inappropriate, and that there, there was no 3D moments, it didn't really add any extra depth. The film would have been better standing alone as just a movie and not just part of that whole 3D franchise sort of thing. Uh, there's no option to not watch it in 3D. Um, I had to pay money to get the fucking 3D glasses as well. That fucking shit pisses me off. But yeah, I'm sick of 3D movies. I am sick of 3D movies. <laughs> but yeah, this film, there was no reason for it. It would have been better if it was just on its own. Hope, but it'll be better on DVD when there's no 3D, unless it comes out as one of those fucking 3D movies that comes with glasses. But there's no point because you always end up losing the glasses and then you're fucked. You're fucked, man. Anyway, 3D. So yeah, uh, even though Valentine's Day is over, uh, this is a good date movie, even though it's a bit of a kid movie. This is good for the kids, good for everyone. There's a lot of good jokes in this. Uh, so yeah. Check out Nomeo and Juliet if it's in a cinema near you. It was good, independently made pretty much. And the animation looks really, really cool. Anyway, I will see you next Tuesday on the Daily Movie Critics. This is Simon, and I love you all.